beautiful shower and I uh, conditioned my hair and um, now what I'm going to do is go into a hot bath. This is like what I call a Japanese bath because when I went to Japan what happens is you scrub down and get yourself really really clean and then after you finish your bath or your shower then you go into the tub and you soak. So this is going to be not just for my hair <laughs> because I deep conditioned my hair while I was in this uh, shower and uh, I washed it and scrubbed it and it feels so nice and just really really good. As you can see the locks are still present but all the new grows from me not twisting anymore is present. But I'm going to use this comb. Um, some people use the metal tip but I don't know if I'm going to have to go to that because I'm always trying to be so gentle and loving with my hair. And I feel like I'm having a spiritual experience as I'm going through this because I had these locks. Oh, I have had them. I still have them right now um, for twenty over 20 years. And they have been really, really long and I've cut them and, you know, I've put hands in them and done all kinds of things. One styles that I love and braided them. I, it's just been a, a lock fest. <laughs> but now it's time for them to go. And I realized as I was taking my shower that I have been hoping and praying for all of the, not all, but you know, as many as possible of the young men and women to be released who are victims of mass incarceration as a result of um, low-level drug offending. And some of them have been in there for years. And it's such a complicated subject. And in fact, I have a new book in which I talk about mass incarceration. And it's called um, Health Disparities, Diversity and Inclusion. Uh, context, controversies, and solutions. And I talk about a lot of social injustice issues, but one of them is mass incarceration. And then there is Michelle Alexander, who wrote The New Jim Crow. So anyway, if you want to deal with those important, important issues, then you can check out those books. Um, but so what happened with me this morning is that after feeling very disappointed last night when I realized that significant numbers of those individuals are not going to be freed, I feel like my hair, freeing my hair from the locks is symbolic of how much I wanted those young people and older people because, you know, it's mostly people of color to be freed and now it's probably not going to happen. So unlocking my hair is sort of symbolic of this kind of freedom that I feel is so necessary and to help me to cope with the fact that <clears throat> those individuals are not going to be freed um, as the current president walks out of the door and a new one comes in. So today is actually January 20th, <laughs> um, and I don't <clears throat> believe that it's a coincidence that I decided that I had to do this today, although it is rather unconscious. It wasn't a conscious decision. So, so anyway, with all that being said, I'm going to run my hot bath water. I'm going to soak and lay back and let my lock soak in the water, and then I'm going to put conditioner in them. I'm going to make the water nice and hot, you know, get out any potential residue that's there and just a cleansing. And then I'll come out and use this little comb and just pick through as much as possible and then let the process continue on a natural basis. All right. So wish me luck and peace and blessings to everyone. And Natural is always cool enough. That's my blog, natural is cool enough dot blogspot dot com. Bye. <music>